Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Mansi Nistri from Shankar Eye Hospital, Bangalore. Today, I'm going to be talking about contact lenses and keratoconus. So, keratoconus is a non-inflammatory ectatic thinning disorder of the cornea, which results in poor vision because of irregular astigmatism. In early stages, spectacles can be used, but in advanced cases, contact lenses become necessary. Buxton et al. classified keratoconus based on the values at the apex of the cone into mild, moderate, advanced, and severe. Also, corneal topography can be helpful in you assessing the severity and in knowing the morphology of the cone uh, divided into nipple, oval, or globus cone. There are various types of con uh, contact lenses in keratoconus. Uh, uh, those are soft spherical or soft toric lens, rigid gas permeable lens, rose scale lens, piggy bag lens, hybrid lens, and scleral lens. Now, there are three basic pa parameters for fitting any contact lens. One is the diameter, second is the base curve, and third is the power. Soft toric or soft spherical lenses, these have a very limited role in early keratoconus. They can be used only in intolerance to RGP. Coming to rigid gas permeable lenses, these are the first lens of choice for visual improvement in keratoconus. And RGP lens, these rest on the apex of the cone. So after applying the trial lens, we wait for an adaptation period of 10 minutes and we look for the dynamic and the static fit. So this is how we assess the dynamic fit. We ask the patient to blink and look at the vertical movement. Then coming to fitting philosophies in keratoconus, there are three fitting philosophies. One is apical clearance, apical bearing and three-point touch. So in apical clearance, there is no bearing or touch in the, at the central area. So there is pooling of the stain. In apical bearing, there is a zone of contact between the contact lens and the cone of the um, cornea. Then a third is the three-point touch or the divided support. So here the lens bearing is shared between the central cornea, the cone and the mid-peripheral cornea. This is the most preferred type of lens fitting and um, then coming to row scale lens. So row scale lenses, these are multi-curved lenses with a small optical zone and uh, which snugly fits on the cone and gives the feather touch to cornea. Rose K2 XL are slimy scleral lenses. They also have shown some uh, visual uh, equity improvement and comfort. Coming to piggyback lens, they have a two lens system. Uh, here, a RGB lens will piggyback or rest on a soft contact lens. Then, hybrid lenses, these have a rigid lens in the center and a soft skirt uh, in the periphery. Then, scleral lenses. These rest on the sclera, they do not touch the cornea or the limbus and leaves a clear area between the lens and this. Uh, they, they are used when all the contact lenses fail to improve vision. There are two main parameters. One is the volt or the optical zone and second is the landing zone or the haptic. So an acceptable fit is one in which there is adequate corneal clearance of 400 to 600 microns with no air bubble in the fluid and there should not be any impingement of the conjunctival vessels. Advantage, uh, it uh, provides improved comfort and visual stability and delays the need for keratoplasty. Uh, only disadvantage, there is a different insertion and removal technique with the help of a plunger. To summarize, RGP are the lens of choice for uh, keratoconus. If the patient develops discomfort or intolerance, they can go for soft customized or toric lenses. Uh, and in advanced cases, a scleral contact lenses are ideal. These are my references. Thank you for allowing me for this presentation.